Morning, Casa. Looks like it's gonna be a good day today, bro. They were only halfway. There was more than a thousand kilometres to go. It's just, it's designed to rip you apart. I mean, we're not meant to survive in these temperatures. The pulling the loads we're pulling, the hours that we're pulling, the limited rations, we're slowly killing ourselves out there. I'm back to normal. normal. Jenny Craig, bugger up! Yeah! <laughs> Surviving on half rations, that each dropped 20 kilograms in weight. Back to normal, JJ! Yeah, man, you're back to normal. Hungry, exhausted, and knowing Gammy was somewhere up ahead also played on their minds. There's nothing to eat out here. There's nothing to eat. There's nothing out here. We've got one cookie each. And they had hardly anything left to eat. Mmm, that's so good. On the way to the pole, they had buried stashes of food. To survive the long trek back, they needed to find them again. Their lives depended on it. Dude, why are you so happy right now? Oh, JJ. <laughs> I never thought we were going to get back here, eh? <laughs> oh. That's all we had. This would have only lasted us another half a day. But for James, the joy was short-lived. Such a cruel place, this. We're finally on full rations with the food that we picked up in the case for the last two days. And eating is the most painful thing. The amount of stinging and uncomfortableness that are keeping me awake at night. We were so on the limit of what we were capable of that we were hypersensitive emotionally. <laughs> this place has taken a part of me that I'll never get back. The amount of suffering and pain and accomplishment and achievement. I've never ever felt this in my life. Just the commitment to keep on going and the commitment to a goal is something I will never forget. And this is gonna give me strength for the rest of my life. <laughs> we, we've got through this. We can do this, we can do anything. We can do this, we can do anything. Anything. All right, let's go skiing. There are crevasses absolutely everywhere. Every five, ten metres you're crossing over. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's day 89. It's our final day out here. And there's Jonesy in the background. And just in front of him in 10 kilometres time, there's the ocean. It's frozen, but we, we can see it. <laughs> I tell you what, the smiles have been few and far between on this trip. Oh, oh how I can't wait to get down there. They knew they were almost finished, but they also knew they were beaten. The Australian's dream had been trampled by a Norwegian nightmare. But then... As we get closer, we see this figure come out and it was Alex Gammy. He was waiting for us down at the finish to, to finish with us. Woohoo! Yay, 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 yay! 
in an extraordinary gesture of friendship, the ultimate act of sportsmanship. Alexander Gammy had not crossed the line. He was waiting for James and Justin. Waiting for them in the end was, it felt very natural. I liked them from the very first moment. I saw myself uh, in them. I enjoyed being a solo, but to finish and, and celebrate alone, it's not really fun, is it? So it's kind of cool being all stuck together, finally. Who, who, who are we going to eat first? 89 <laughs> days after they left, the first unassisted journey to the South Pole and back. I think it's here. Uh, yeah, you sure? Anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> That was a fantastic day. I mean, I, I really, really, um, yeah, I'm very happy that I, I did that, actually. The three of us all here together, and it's just awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, History. Let's get to you, you. Yeah, let's, let's get, get to, to civilization. Let's, let's get out of here. G'day. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks. Oh my God, how are you, mate? Good. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh man, look at you guys. <laughs> What's wrong with Look at you. <laughs> my God. I'm better than you now. <laughs> the long flight back from the ice ended with the warmest of homecomings. and the biggest hug from James' fiancée, Mia. Hey, Cass, look who we got here. Hey, Jess. Hi. How are you? Their trip raised money to build youth cancer centres for patients like Jess. Oh, that was great. Now there's one other high-risk adventure on the horizon. Let's get married. Justin and Mia will walk down the aisle <laughs> later this month. I want to know this idea you dreamt up. Justin. You're both nearly 30. James is getting married. Is this the last trip, the last big trip you'll do together? <sighs> it's a fine big trip. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for a good trip. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Thanks for a good trip. Um, I never want to see you again. <laughs> what an adventure. There's more about James and Justin's cancer charity and details on how you can donate on our website. And Antarctica will have another visitor next week. In a television first, Koshi will co-host Sunrise live from the icy continent. Now that's very cool. Koshi gave us that joke. Back in a moment.